Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Watch Me at Zoe.tv. My name is Gabe Mack and I am here in Central Park in New York City along with Josh Kinberg. Yes, hey, he's going to be my guest. Good? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? Good. Yeah? We're, we're stoked to be in New York. Well, you live in New York. Yeah, I live here, so. <laughs> this is pretty typical, although I don't usually hang out in Central Park. But, no? Uh, no. This is beautiful, though. I mean, yeah, look at nice it. People are playing soft. Well, they were. People playing softball. We got people over here that are cycling behind us. I mean, you know, we've seen video bloggers out there, people with their cameras already going, you know. That was pretty cool, those little girls filming a squirrel and stuff, you yeah. know. What, what do you have with video blogging? What do I have with video blogging? Yeah, what's your, what's your deal with the video blogging world, for uh, those that don't know? Well, I do a lot with video blogging. Um, started about a year ago. Um, I was developing a project uh, during the Republican convention in New York City called Bikes Against Bush. And part of this project used a video blog to document the whole, it was a performance art piece. Uh, and you can check it out at bikesagainstbush.com. And at that time, you know, I was putting video on my weblog and uh, distributing it got very popular for a moment in time uh, when the sort of whole event came to a climax. And it was on Slashdot and Boing Boing and downloaded hundreds of thousands of times these clips uh, of the project. And um, it sort of made me realize this, this real need for easily distributable media. And I looked, started really to get more involved with RSS distribution and blogging, stuff that I've been studying and researching, but, but really getting into it for media. And um, so around that time, about a year ago, uh, I developed a sort of proof of concept called Vipotter. It was just an Apple script that would download, it was similar to Adam Curry's iPotter, mm -hmm. Vipotter, right? So the difference was it would download MP3s, put it in iTunes, it would download any uh, QuickTime movies and put them in another application called Cellulo that could do video playlists. So it was just a proof of concept of a media aggregator, a multimedia aggregator. And um, so after developing that, uh, we found, uh, I started working more closely with Jay Dedman, who founded this video blogging group that I was a member of, also in New York City. We'd known each other through other friends. And we started working more closely together and then we found Daniel Sauber in uh, Amsterdam who helped us develop the first Mac version of what became Ant for Ants Not Television. Later it became Fire Ant, so we've gone through different name changes, uh, partly due to legal concerns, but now it's Fire Ant and, um, and we have a Mac and a Windows version and we're sort of getting ready for our next phase of the product, our, our sort of next release for both Mac and Windows. We're ready for an update pretty soon. Yeah, putting in these different social features, such as email this or blog this, so you can sort of add back to the conversation. We don't want anybody to feel like they're alone when they're using Fire Ant. Basically, it's a, it's a social tool. It's collaborative and so forth. And we're also adding tagging and other things um, so that you'll be able to uh, organize and curate your own collection of media that you've downloaded. And then your, such as in Delicious and Flickr, your tags by how you organize stuff is also shared. So, in a sense, you can also basically filter content and create your own channels based on what you, how you organize things. Um, so that's one thing we'll be adding. A whole lot of other things are also we're adding delicious tagging and other, other stuff that helps you basically, you download this media and then what do you do with it? You want to do stuff with it. So that's sort of the next step is like adding lots of ways for people to organize, share, and tell, tell their friends about this stuff. So cool. I think that'll be really exciting. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. And that get back, gets back to the original sort of thing when I was doing Bikes Against Bushes. Easily distributable media is really crucial. And I think it's, it's a really important thing for how we engage with media and how we... Um, yeah. you know, Absolutely. I think, I think it'll be really important. Uh, which video blog website? Well, I, I work on a couple of video blogs. I, do, I have my own at joshkinberg.com. Uh, which is mostly like Josh personal video. Joshkinberg.com, right there. Uh, <laughs> it's mostly more personal stuff, stuff for my friends and family, um, and and uh, it's fun to do. And it's also to sort of so I can refine my own production process. Uh, so that we can link to that one. Yeah. And uh, I also work on Rocket Boom. I assist with Rocket Boom and uh, uh, write an episode every. Check now out and last then. week's episode, Rocket yep. Boom. So I've been working with Andrew Barron and Amanda Congdon on Rocket Boom from the beginning. Andrew and I went to school together, and uh, 
around the same time last year, Andrew and I were working in the same place and he was like, I want to do this daily video blog. And, you know, we, we started brainstorming together about what why, that would be. Why the name Rocket Boom? Uh, Andrew had, had that URL and really liked, like, it was just, he had it and liked it and that's what it was. That um, is, it was the funniest Yeah, one. Andrew is a, this is a creative guy and will occasionally think of cool words like Rocket Boob and then grab the URL. Same with ApolloPony.net, which is one of his other sites. It's just like, you know, here's a cool word and, uh, might as well grab the domain. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, um, if, if your mind works that way, you're just kind of, you know, like, I think I see a yeah. pony, it looks like in the shape of Apollo or something, and there's it's a rocket, cooler, it yeah. goes boom, you know, why not? Hey. So, you know, I, I did the logo for Rocket Boom and some other stuff, and then, you know, early on we were talking about how Rocket Boom would exist, and we talked a lot about RSS and, and uh, generating all different types of media formats and different feeds for each format. And so um, Andrew developed a kind of way to do that, and uh, so we just went with it. And the goal of it was to be regular, frequent, every day. You know, this type of content, this type of pacing, and uh, you know, we, we kind of had an idea going in of what it would be like. And uh, took a while to get to where it is, but um, it's, it's always improving. It's doing well fun. now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And Andrew has a lot of fun. And it's great working with Andrew and Amanda. So. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Did why don't we uh, just take a quick break and we'll show uh, we'll show a little thing from joshkimberg.com. Uh, okay. A tornado uh, yeah, film. Yeah, we can possibly. show the tornado film. That was pretty cool. Yeah, you want to set up the tornado film for me? Um, so I was helping my sister's, uh, when my sister's family was moving cross country from New York to Salt Lake City. And so I was driving with my brother-in-law in a U-Haul truck in front of us and then one of my sister's college roommates in a car behind we were following and on the way to Utah. So we're in the, at this clip we were in western Nebraska and we actually drove through a tornado while it was forming. Wow. And it was pretty intense and kind wow. of scary. So, uh... What? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my god. We're in western Nebraska and, uh... Got it covered. <laughs> look at that. We're passing through this. It's pretty windy. It's like shaking the car a little. Have you heard of any severe storm warning in the area? I'm listening to the radio now. <laughs> Got it. Ask you if he's okay driving. Are you okay? Is the U-Haul moving at all in the wind? This is insane. It looks right out there. It's completely clear. Yeah. We're at uh, marker 38. Holy cow. It is behind us. Okay. I don't see it, but it's just that mass of blackness behind us, I guess. There's nothing really to get pictures. I mean, I was taking pictures as we were driving through, but uh, it's just a mass of blackness. There's, there's a whole bunch of uh, emergency vehicles coming our way. Oh, 98.7. 98.7? Okay, we're going to turn the radio dial to it. Here you go. <laughs> so, okay, everybody, welcome back. That was, you know, a little tornado action uh, going uh, with Josh. Um, you got another uh, little video video blog for us? Yeah, another video blog that I like is um, produced by Chris Weagle of Human Dog, human-dog.com. Uh, Chris lives in Michigan, and he produces a few video blogs, including Human Dog. But he also produces one for his sister, Sarah Weagle. Um, I wish I knew the website for it. I think it's just human dog slash Sarah. All right, I'll, we'll but, figure but it we'll out. We'll get the link. I just don't have it on me right now. Um, and Sarah's web uh, video blog is pretty good. And then he does another one called Summer of Vantori, Summer of V, which is another buddy of his named John Vantori. And uh, they do some pretty funny stuff, good, good quality video production. And, uh, all right. Well done. So well, we'll, let's take a look at one of those. We'll just take a random look at one that I just happened to pull down right now. Yep. Human dog. I've seen those movies with dogs. I'm Sarah, your buddy. Sarah, 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 Sarah. This is my pussy fun and laughs and trees and dogs and happy, happy, happy me, 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 me. Sarah's corner.
Ow. You just got done watching Sarah's Corner. It was about me. Yeah. So okay, um, let's um, let's do a little thing on Fire Ant. I mean. Yeah, shall we show a quick screencast of uh, Yeah, we can Fire show Ant? a screencast from Fire Ant. We have a uh, Mac and Windows versions available, and updates to both of those coming very soon. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. It's pretty exciting. It allows you to subscribe to video blogs and automatically download content like Zola TV. That's right. Download, subscribe, get right. Fire Ant. Getfireant.com is our website. And uh, we have a couple screencast tutorials there, and let's check one, one of those out right yeah. now. Here we go. If you ever wanted to watch video on the web, sure, we all do. <laughs>